Hey, I'm doing this video uh, for Alberto Gomez and Mario Rodriguez. Rodriguez, I'm sorry. And I want to show Bibles that I'm consider, you know, trying to give away for donation, you know. And uh, some, a couple of them, I don't, you know, really care about donations. A couple others, you know, I might have to consider one. Uh, first of all, being um, this right here, this bottom one. This is a uh, large print. I turn not large print. Wide margin Thompson Chain reference Bible. It's one of the biggest ones they had. And it's slightly used. It's got notes in it. Matter of fact, I'll just go ahead and take these off. I'll get back to those in just a minute. I had to put the light on this thing. That way you can see a little bit better. So it's, you got like big wide margins here. Oops. And slight writing in it. Like this right here. Nothing damaging or anything. It's strictly King James. You know, and that's the only uh, Marley you were consider about pictures. That's the only pictures in there. That's the ones in the back. Um, it's in English, of course, and you know a little bit of highlighting here and there. Uh, circulars, things like that, and uh, like that. Not very bad. I got this off of um, Amazon. Amazon about a month and a half ago, I think. And you see a little bit there, you know, writing and stuff. Somebody put in there. I got another one just like this one, so but it's, it's not, you know, gilding's not that bad off, and the, and a little bit it's not. It doesn't have no writing in it other than mine. Other than that, it's a nice sturdy Thompson. It's big and thick and heavy. That's what I call a big daddy, flop daddy, big floppy, big floppy, big daddy. You can write your notes and stuff. <laughs> anyway, close this back up. I'll show you what else I got. This is um this is since my birthday that I made the videos. I think I made another one or two. Um so um I also got this um I think this is a one twenty red letter series um from the local church right here. Okay. There we go. Come on. Executive one piece um uh, red letter. And uh, I think the only thing I wrote in this was this right here, my fifth reading. And that was it. Um, translated to the reader, of course, it has that. I recommend that anyone. Oh, yeah, hey, I'm sorry, it does have writings, um, but it's very slim because I went to the. You know what? I didn't notice this. Look at here. I didn't notice that. Let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. Oh, I didn't notice that. Wow. That's not good at all. It depends on how well you take care of it, but look there. The stitching got missed there or something other it's coming out. Good gracious. Then you know that. Oh, well. Somebody can have this one. This one right here. Since it's got a little bit of writing in it, um, I'd just give it to somebody. If somebody can do it, just send me the um, couple of dollars for shipping and handling. I mean, heck, you can have it right off. But other than that, that's all the little bit of writing. That's all the writing it had in it. And I was, I'm surprised to see that. That's the first time I saw that. And that's, that's a surprise. See, I only went up to the second chapter. Then I went into my bigger Thompson. Uh, whenever I got that one in from Amazon, it doesn't do it. See, it doesn't do that, I don't think, all the way throughout, but just that one little page. Yeah, it does. Whoa, that's not good. That's not good. <clears throat> yeah, so just a couple of dollars. I mean, a few, you know, however, shipping in about five bucks in shipping and handling. You know, if you can just give it to me, whatever else you want to give, and that'd be great for this one, the 120 series. Um, what did I say for this one? Um, I'd probably take 10 for this one. That's for the shipping and the handling, I suppose, and, you know, $5. But this one right here is just the shipping and handling itself, even though it is newer. <clears throat> now, um, this one right here is a, uh, note, 
uh, note takers, I believe. And see, tabs were added. You see right there. And I got this off of eBay. I got the other one off of eBay too. And I don't think it's been written in at all. It also has translators to a reader. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I don't think it's got no kind of writing in it. Nope. And it's land skin. I want to point that out. Let's see what the other one was. I think that's cowhide or calf skin. I'm not quite sure. <clears throat> but anyway, this is the note takers. And it's the 427 series right there. There we go. Hey, don't be finding no place to poop. You hear me? You hear what I'm saying? Don't you find no place to poop? Say hello. Say hello, Herbie. Hey, what's up, dog? What's up? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? You can get your 15 seconds of fame. Oh, my goodness. Okay, boy. You just told you. He just wants to get up here with Grandpa. No, oh, making me older than I should be. All right, let's get. I'm trying to get something done here. Would you get get down? Ugh. Anyway, it's a note takers. It's got little tabs. Your butt's in my face. Thank you very much. Getting your butt up my face. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with it. Um, it's a really nice box. I was about to go into this one. Start my reading in that one. But I decided not to call Herbie, Sal. Huh? Call Herbie. Herbie. But I decided not to. I just went ahead and went to the Thompson. But anyway, it's a really nice Bible, I think. Very nice. Um, so, <clears throat> so like I said, about ten for this, five for that, and uh, this one I take probably that's lambskin. Matter of fact, I take about fifteen for this one. You know, <clears throat> so uh, how do I how do I want to do that? Let's see here. Um, five, ten, fifteen. Yeah, five, ten, fifteen. Okay, so <clears throat> five for the red letter, ten for the Thompson, and fifteen for the um, note takers. <clears throat> now this one right here, I don't really know if I want to get. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I had a, fr I had, I had uh, a friend. We were talking, and he reads other versions of the Bible, and he just got the wrong impression from me. But anyway, he he sent this to me a, a month and a half, two months ago, and it's a very nice Rock of Ages Bible. It's um, got an Abba leather, um, no thumb tabs, of course, and it doesn't have really notes in it as far as that goes. Kind of reminds me of a little bit of the Defined King James Bible. Can I sign for me? Um, I'm busy right now. You can wait. You just need to sign this for me. Right? Kids. But anyway, um, it's got three special, um, ribbons in there that he put in there. I'm not quite sure I want to really get rid of this. But, you know, he's all mad and upset because, you know, I, he, 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 got, he got the wrong impression from me. He He's upset. He's kind of, I don't know if he's confused or what, but he thinks I'm wrong because of what I believe. And I think he's a little overzealous in what he believes and stuff like that as far as New Age versions and watching other people's videos to convince him of that. But um, anyway, I'm not going to say any more about it as um, far as that goes. It's a really nice Bible, and I would really hate to... Um, I didn't. I didn't want to insult him. I've thought of we. We one time were friends. Then we're not. Then we are. Then we're not. Then we are. It's been lasting for a while now that he hasn't talked to me. And he originally watches this guy Christopher L. on there, and he and he downs the. He doesn't really down the King James version, but he he downs those who um, translated it. And and I'm, I'm not really wanting to get in. One minute all nice and lovey dovey and next minute you know it's all in your face kind of thing and but this is a really nice bible that the guy sent me and i really don't want to insult him by you know giving it back to him but then again 
I don't know. This is this is even though it's a nice Bible and I like it a lot. I don't really want. I mean, I, I just don't find myself really reading into it. I don't want to sit on a shelf, you know. So use your discretion as far as what you ask me about it, and then I'll answer you in private. You know what I mean? But um, uh, it's just hard to say on that. I really, it really it is. Because I, I don't want to insult him anymore, you know, by selling it to somebody. But then again, if he gave it to me, then he gave it to me. And I can do it what I want to with it. But I, it's not my cup of tea, really. It's a King James. I'm glad it is. I love it. The great thing about it is that he, um, <clears throat> the dude who uh, who does this, a Rock of Ages study Bible, whatever it is, <clears throat> he gives a nice introduction in this, in this of the... Um, the English Bible and the King James Version. It, it um, I, I'm like, I quite didn't know why he gave it to me. Um, the fellow name is Eric. His name is Eric. I'm like, well, why'd you give it to me? You know, because evidently, he, you know, figured I'm a King James Bible believer. You know, uh, you can wait just a minute. But anyway, um, it's a very nice Bible. Um, it's got a lot of notes in here, as far as in the front and how. The Bible came to be, you know, and everything. The Bible translation, King James Version. And I agree with everything it says. I, I just love reading this um, thing about our Bible, um, our English Bible. But as far as this other stuff in here, um, you know, that's not really my cup of tea, you know, as far as that goes. Um, but anyway, like I said, um, it kind of reminds me of the defined King James Version. But it doesn't have all the pointing out all the number of notes and verses and chapters and words and stuff like that. Anyway, that's a thought for you. And here's the box too. Again, it's Abba leather. Very nice leather. Very nice. There's a box for it right there. Rock of Ages. There's one on eBay, I think, for sale for 77 bucks. So, uh, anyway... You can private message me on this and then we'll talk about it. Uh, I don't you know, we'll just have to, whoever is interested in it, we'll just have to talk about it. You know what I mean? I'm not going to say anything outright, you know. That's the barcode thing right there. Anyway, um, you can get back with me on that. So do a little short review here. And on this one, the um, Rock of Ages Study Bible, whatever. Yeah, Study Bible. Just, just give me a message on that, private message. It would be great. Um, and this right here, this Thompson Chain Reference Bible, I'll go for 10 for that. And the, um, uh, this, uh, red letter, i go for 5 and, um, $5, $10, $5, and this, yeah, wait a minute, you know, <laughs> I forgot what I said, no, 15, right, yeah, anyway, 10 for this one, $5 for the red letter, which is the ten dollars is for the wider margin. Thompson five dollars for the red letter, and fifteen for this um, note takers with the tabs on it. Okay, yeah, I got that right. I think whatever I said beginning with, then that's what I'm saying now. Okay, so this one, like I said, just give me a call on, or, you know, message me or what have you, and we can talk about it. And uh, now here's some other another couple I got. Now somebody, I think Alberto was um, Gomez was. The blue he said it's blue, as I said before, Alberto. It's not blue. It's just um, a leather cover. This is the one I put on myself. And uh, let me show you here. Let's see, this is the leather that I use right here. That's the leather. That's the leather that I use. It just looks blue. Anyway, so and I went to go get the corners rounded. And they really messed it up. <laughs> of course, this is the same one as that. And I go for five dollars on these, just to give them to you. Five dollars, okay? So that, that's shipping and handling. But you see the price on here. The retail was zoom in, nineteen ninety nine, I believe. And the I'm sorry, it's Canadian price. The U.S. price is seventeen ninety nine. Uh, really, I really, I don't, I haven't really read through all these, these, um, Thomas Nelsons. Uh, I don't know, um, if they change anything, I have no idea. 
But that's the that's what I did. I think I did a pretty good job. <laughs> you know, I put a ribbon in here too. You can tell that's not the kind of tradition put in there, but that's the only one I can find. So you can kind of take your thumb. See, it makes a zipping sound. Anyway, that's what it looks like. And of course, that's the same thing. Five for both of those. Now this right here, this is the New Testament of the old and new revised version on the yo. Uh, this is a revised, along with the King James of the 1880s, and it's pretty darn old. And uh, it's got pictures in it and stuff like that. <coughs> it's also got the history of the revised. I got the preface, and I got the bigger one right there. I got a new and Old Testament right there, and all that stuff. So I go for 15 on this one, and. Um, yeah, I go for 15 on this. That's enough to that's enough to um, handle the shipping and um, handling. Uh, maybe a little less, but that's okay. And I go for five on these. And I go for 15 on, like I said, the note takers. And uh, I go for five on the red letter since it's got a little issue with the page and what little I did write in there. And I go for 10 on a wide margin Thompson chain reference wide margin. And this, of course, again, just holler at me about it, comment to me, or whatever, and I can let you know more about it. And like I said, they got one for sale on the um, on the uh, eBay for 77 bucks. And the, the fella that had it before me, he added these ribbons in it. I think very nice ribbons. Um, I wish he and I can talk again, but he's a little upset because he thinks I'm trying to be a boss and ask what I know and everything, and I'm not trying.